Hey guys, I am back and I am better than ever. I am so sorry about last week and how I missed out and didn't upload for you guys, but I was so sick. In fact, my nose is still a little congested, so if I'm talking a little bit weird, that is why. But just mentally, I feel so much better and I'm so ready to film. I've missed you guys so much. Just a lot has went on in the past week besides me being sick and I don't really want to get into it. I did make a community post stating a little bit of what happened. I just could not film. I couldn't show you guys my best. So with those reasons and just being sick on top of that, I just had to take a break from YouTube. I couldn't speak. I felt like I got hit by a bus. My nose was clogged. It was just, it was a bad situation. But I'm feeling a lot better and I wanted to sit down and film for you guys. May has honestly been such a great month. I tried out so many different products and I just really became in love with a lot of these products so I couldn't wait to show you guys my May favorites which I can't believe it's already June when I'm posting this video. That is so crazy. I feel like May had like two weeks and then it was done like does anybody else feel like that like if you blinked may was gone i am also so excited for june because i have so much stuff that i need to haul that's sitting right by my desk here to show you guys i'm just so excited to get into the boxes and to show you guys all what i got but anyways if you would like to see my may favorites then of course make sure to subscribe down below for me of course subscribe and then let's get into it so for this month, I have only been loving on one palette. I cannot believe I'm only stating one palette because eyeshadow is like my favorite thing in makeup. I absolutely love eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore, high-end, whatever. Eyeshadows are my favorite thing in makeup. But I have just been so obsessed with this palette that I haven't been able to put it down and I really wanted to show you guys. This is one of the palettes I actually hauled in my Sephora VIP Rouge Sale haul. It is the Dominique's Cosmetics Latte Palette. And I know I'm so on the late bandwagon with this, but I did pick it up during the Sephora sale and I have been loving it ever since then. It is such a good palette for every single day. I mean, just look at all those neutral eyeshadows and then you get two pops of color, which is so beautiful. At first, I really didn't think this palette was worth it because it does retail for about $40, I believe. But when you get it, it's like, damn, that's really worth the price. Because first off, the pants are absolutely huge. I mean, you get really big pans in this palette and then the quality of the eyeshadows are just so amazing and buttery and creamy and they blend out so nicely. I have this eyeshadow palette on today and I absolutely love it. If you are into your neutrals but you want to get into a little bit of color, this is such the palette to start off with because you get all mattes right here. You get two matte colorful shades and then you get three shimmer shades which are absolutely stunning. I love this palette. This is such a good quality palette and it's really good for every day. Whether it's your go-to palette for working or being on YouTube, whatever your niche is, it's a really stunning palette. Now I have a foundation that I just had to mention even though I feel like you guys will all know what it is because I mentioned it in one or two of my last previous videos. It is the Tarte Foundation foundation. I've been using this foundation every single day. I just cannot put this foundation down. It is hands down one of my all-time favorite foundations. It gives me such a stunning radiant finish but it's not dewy or oily. I do still set it with a matte setting powder but I pretty much do that with all of my foundations anyways just because I am so oily. But with this foundation it gives me a medium to full cover but I really like that radiant finish when I first apply it because it just makes it so easy to blend onto my skin. I'm sorry, I have not talked this much in like a week. So if my voice sounds really bad, I really apologize. Sometimes when you get really overly matte foundations, they just don't want to blend on your face. They look really cakey. It just, it looks streaky no matter what you use to blend it out. But with this foundation, I feel like it really just slides on my face, but it really blends out easily. So this has quickly became one of my top five at least 
favorite foundations in my collection and I just highly recommend it whether you have oily skin like me or dry skin I really think that this is a good foundation and now one of my go-to foundations now a powder that I just picked up at Walmart. It is the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder. My Walmart has recently just upgraded. They are getting all this new makeup in and all this new products and stuff like that. So I was really intrigued and decided to pick this up. Because you guys all know, my Too Faced Mattifying Loose Setting Powder is like my go-to. Well, if I can get something cheaper because this is like three bucks, then... I'm gonna go for this one. Well, I do really like this and I have been using it every single day, including today. I just feel like, is it good? It is very good, especially if you're on a budget and you have oily skin, this is a really good powder. Does it live up to my Too Faced Mattifying Loose Setting Powder? Not quite. But that powder is so hard to beat for me because I'm so in love with it. I use it all the time, you guys know. But I really wanted to try something more affordable and this is still a really good powder. That's why I mention it in my May Favorites because I have been really enjoying it and if you're on a budget and looking for a really good matte setting powder, I would pick this up. I probably won't repurchase it, but it is still a really good affordable powder. I'm going all out of order today because now I want to mention a sponge that I've been loving. I love this sponge. I first saw Lizzie's Dose of Beauty use it on her channel and I'm like, I need to buy that. It looks amazing. I only use sponges to put foundation on. so. I'm open to anything. So this is the Juno and Co sponge and it's dirty because I used it today. But this is the softest, squishiest sponge and it applies my makeup like a freaking dream. When I'm pouncing this on my face, it feels like I'm pouncing literally a cloud. This sponge has the perfect name because it is called the cloud sponge and I love how it applies my foundation. It just, it goes on so naturally, but still like full coverage or medium coverage, whichever foundation you guys decide to use, it still applies it like it's supposed to be, but just so much more flawlessly. I don't even know how to explain it, but I definitely see a difference using this sponge and other sponges. I just, I love this and I'm glad I have a bunch of backups. I am not sure if they're keeping this permanent or not. So I did buy a whole bunch and I love it. I think you need to go check it out. It's like $5, super affordable and really great qualities. Now I have a blush palette to show you guys and I actually got this in a BoxyCharm in May. I am so thrilled I got this because I was going to buy it but then I saw BoxyCharm was going to have it in their BoxyCharm so I held off. This is the LMR Cosmetics Blush Trio and this is in the shade Fair Light which is perfect because I obviously am fair to light. But this is such a beautiful blush palette. I think I haven't used it on my channel before. I don't remember for what but this was such a beautiful palette. I was quickly impressed by the pigmentation, how much it blended out, how almost natural it looks on my skin just because yes I put blush on but it looks like my cheeks are naturally glowy and pink but today I mix these two together so this is a really good blush palette and I highly recommend it it's not overly pigmented so you can build it up to your liking but you can either go really natural with it or you can build it up and put a lot on either way it's a really beautiful blush palette now I have two bronzers to show you guys and the first one I actually use as a contour and I did get this during the Sephora VIP sale. It is the Fenty Beauty Instant Warmth Bronzer in the shade In The Sun and I honestly bought this because of Kathleen Light. She's like, guys, this is such a good contour if you have a lighter skin tone. So I immediately picked it up. I really just wanted a single pan contour because it's easier to travel with. I have so many single pan bronzers. I really just wanted to pick up a single pan contour just to try out, see if it's a good formula. I really do enjoy it. It is a little bit more on the ashier side, which I really like that. That is one reason I really like my Hula bronzer because it's on the cooler, ashy side. This is a little bit more warmth, but it still has that ashy undertone to me. So I used it to contour and I just put it in 
faintly like right here and I really feel like it gives me that natural contour that I just really love lately. So I've been obsessed with this. Really good formula. Really buttery. I love it. And then for bronzer, I have been loving this bronzer. It is the Morphe Bronzer in Icon. I know you guys have all seen this before. I honestly purchased this because first Jaclyn Hill mentioned it, I believe, and then Kathleen Lights mentioned it. I'm like, fine, I have to have it. I am ecstatic that I picked this up because now I feel like it's out of stock everywhere. I looked on Ulta, I looked on Morphe, it's out of stock. I even looked on eBay and I can't even find any. So this is a very much wanted bronzer and I really feel like they should make this permanent because I don't know what I'm going to do when I hit pan on this. I know it's a big pan, it'll take me quite a while. This is like my new favorite bronzer. I used it today to bronze my face and it just gives me a buttery bronzy finish. It just makes me look like I got a natural tan going on and I feel like it really blends out well with this. I've just been really enjoying it and to me it is a really good dupe for the Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer. I believe that's what it's called. Almost the same pan size and the same formula. I feel like they're both really buttery, but if you're on a budget, this is the way to go. Hopefully Ulta or Morphe will restock this bronzer really soon because I will probably even buy a backup just to have it because this has quickly became my favorite everyday bronzer. I love it. Last but not least, which is probably a good thing that I am almost done with my favors because I've not talked this much in a week and I'm feeling it in my throat. But I really wanted to mention this product because it has been my top favorite and I cannot put it down. I have to use it every single day. It is just so good. It is the Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze Highlight in Worth the Wait. It is so beautiful! I knew I was gonna love this highlight as soon as I got it in the mail. I did pick it up right after the Sephora VIB sale, so I didn't get it on sale, but I don't even care. This is so worth the $50 to me. I'm not joking. This is hands down my favorite highlight of all time. This cannot compare to any highlights that I have in my collection. I used it today. It just makes me look so glowy, so fresh, so fun. I love it. And now I've been highlighting the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow and I want to put this everywhere. This looks absolutely stunning on my skin tone and I love it so much. It just gives me that wetness. That's how much I love it and I really think that you should pick it up because for some reason it's limited edition. I don't know why. If sometime I can get another $50, I'm going to be picking up another one just so I can have it for like the rest of my life. I absolutely need this. It is the most stunning, beautiful highlight and I can't get enough. Alright guys, that completes this May favorites? Is it May? Yes. May favorites. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to comment your favorites down below so I can try them out if I haven't already. I hope you guys all had a great memorial weekend with your friends and family. I hope it went a little bit better than mine, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!